back in 2015 when we started mvp you need eight quadro cards just to hit 96 gb of vram but today we have the rtx pro 6000 about 8.5 lakh is all it takes to get a 96 gb vram card let me say that again 96 gb vram and with that kind of firepower the use cases are nothing short of insane so running your billion parameter ai models to full blown film production literally anything is possible let's dive in now starting off with the main use case has to be ai jahan bhi jao ai 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 banaya bhi isliye so you could run and train up to a 192 billion plus parameter ai model without aws skip the cloud compute bills with fp4 rates on 96 gb vram you can host up to 192 billion parameters in inference think of the cost savings when you eliminate per hour aws charges and gain full control over your data and workflows or train or fine tune 11 to 15 billion parameter models right on your desk even better that this has mig which is multi instance gpu support which means you could split this gpu into four different gpus and then run four models simultaneously You know some companies pay lakhs of rupees every month to provide these services for their users but if you invest in your own infra the potential saving is basically unlimited now that's for engineers now let's talk about creators think 16k rendering and virtual production in 3d now let's start with blender or cinema 4d you can pretty much load up any texture no matter how high res it is even on 16k resolutions without running out of vram but that's just rendering now coming to unreal engine this pc is actually capable of full fledged virtual production they have shipped systems and servers worth 50 plus lakhs for this use case but because of its insane vram this single gpu is more than enough to load entire environments with complex simulations volumetric effects real time ray tracing all in one single gpu now another reason to use it for production is high quality silicon now if you didn't know quadro gpus are actually tested for low failure rates directly from nvidia sorry we still call like it quadro not quadro but you get the point now this makes it a whole lot reliable during sensitive tasks like a movie set where you have casting producers directors what not and if your gpu crashes you could lose your entire day of progress which nothing to show for it and this is also why they are more expensive than regular geforce cards now if in camera effects weren't enough let's talk about post production one of the major upgrades in the latest nvidia generation is new higher quality encoders that support maximum color depth also known as 4 is to 2 is to 2 chroma sub sampling we have made an entire video about this you can check it out there now combine this with 96 gb of vram you can edit feature films in native 8k pro res or raw formats 8k time lapse simultaneously layer color grades lut's effects and scrub the timeline but is me no need for proxy transcoding no media offline your creative flow stays completely uninterrupted and finally yes i know what you're thinking it can also do some gaming our benchmarks show a roughly 10% improvement than the 5090 but this is only limited to workstation series card with 600 watt of power limit the one which is behind me this one if you opt for the max q version or the data center version obviously you'll not be able to game on it but i don't think anybody is gaming on a 8 lakh rupee card and that was all the insane use cases only possible with the rtx pro 6000 blackwell 96 gb let us know what you would do if you had a 96 gb ram in the comments below and if you want a pc built with this gpu consider calling our configuration specialist on our toll free numbers or visit one of our stores across the country until next time